Hey everybody, Elgin here at EXP Realty, the Elgin and Pilar Walker team. So what I just want to touch base a little bit on right now is what your plans are for 2024. And uh, in one of the previous couple of videos uh, coming into the year before January, I was suggesting, and I'm still suggesting, that you make sure that you make your moves based upon what your actual needs are personally not from a macro standpoint, not from what you think the market's going to do, not going to do. The truth of the matter is none of us actually really know. Even after 36 years doing this, my crystal ball gets foggy. So everyone else's does as well, right? So a couple of things though I want you to keep in mind is, you know, there's been a lot of talk about the interest rates, that they're going to go down, they're going to go down, they're going to go down. Um, I don't know if they're going to go down be perfectly honest and from my experience during election years things seem to stay more of the same then you get uh, a huge ebb and flow upwardly or downwardly on certain things because the Federal Reserve does not want to be accused of handling its policy towards an election so there will be things that possibly you would think might be done or not be done won't happen just because of that. So here's just a couple of things from a historical standpoint. So number one, if you are looking at purchasing and you're looking at the current interest rates, which are lower than they were a couple of months ago, but you are looking for them to get to a certain level, you have to understand this. Understand the fact that right now there's not a lot of inventory. There's not a lot of homes for sale. And with the interest rates being a little bit higher than they were obviously, say in 2020 and 2021, the affordability is not as good. But what does that mean for you buying? What it means for you buying is as long as you purchase something that you can afford right now, you're kind of hedging yourself on the buying side for no matter what interest rates do. Number one, you're buying something that you can afford. So if the rates uh, stay where they're at, or the rates go higher, whatever the case may be, uh, you're protected because you're staying within your means. You're buying what you can afford. You should make sure you buy on a long-term basis, not a short-term basis. Now, the flip side of that is, let's suppose that the rates go down. And let's say you have not purchased yet, but you could have. Well, if the rates go down, and if the inventory doesn't drastically uh, increase, that means that there will be more people that can afford the properties and the price range that you're probably trying to buy in, which means that the competition will increase because there's still not a whole lot of homes for sale. Now, if the competition increases, guess what that does to the prices? Guess that what does to the terms? Because you're now going to be in overbidding situations. You're now going to be uh, removing contingencies that you'd prefer not to remove just because of the supply and demand. That's on the buying side. Sellers, listen, if you have a motivation in this and you really do need to sell, if it were me, based upon an election year, you should probably make your plans and your strategy to have this done before September. Why? Because generally during an election year, somewhere toward the end of July, first to middle part of August, the market tends to slow considerably because people get focused on the elections and some people just don't want to make moves until they see the outcome of elections. These are just historical things. So if you are making plans for yourself and for your family, you might as well know some of these historic trends so that you can make the best decision for you and your family. It does not have to be the best decision that someone else agrees with. It just has to be the best decision for you and your family and you, you know, plan, strategize, and work accordingly. If you have questions, if you'd like to know more about some of the stuff that I'm talking about, reach out to us. We're always available to, to, to talk, to speak, to help families. Alrighty? God bless. Take care. Have a great 2024, and we'll keep you guys informed as we know.